The intent of this video is to address the question, under combat day conditions, which is more likely, a World War II German submarine lookout spotting a patrolling aircraft or a patrolling aircraft observer spotting a submarine? This video is part three of the channel's World War II Bomber vs. Submarine Battle of the Atlantic series. Aircraft played a deadly role in destroying German submarines in World War II. Whichever vehicle spots the other one first will have a major tactical advantage. Both these sediments are echoed on this page from the translated 1942 German Submarine Commander's Operations Manual. The submarine must be guided by the motto, He who sees first has won. And further down in the report, the most dangerous enemy to the submarine is the aircraft. As discussed in earlier videos, the B-24 bomber and its variants destroyed more submarines than any other aircraft in World War II. The Allied aircraft tactics for finding U-boats and usage of patrol bomber kill stores will be covered in future videos. A submarine in U.S. waters will generally stay submerged during the day and only surface to exchange air, as discussed in this U-701 Declassified German POW Interrogation Report titled Postmortems on Enemy Submarines. All the images in this video are declassified. Other German U-701 POW observations include, there were four lookouts in the conning tower, each assigned a 90 degree arc zone. An enemy aircraft could be seen six miles away. U-boat crash dive duration was 30 seconds. The submarine was on the surface for most of the trip getting to the U.S. waters. Long-range B-24 aircraft patrolled from land bases out to a thousand miles as shown in this image from the July 1943 U.S. Army Air Force's Anti-Submarine Command Monthly Intelligence Report. On clear days, patrolling B-24 bombers would fly at a 5,000 foot altitude as defined in this January 1945 Anti-Submarine Instructions and Escort of Convoy Manual. Each aircraft crew member would be assigned an area to visually scan, looking for surface submarines. The planes also adopted sea scanning radar. This chart represents the distances aircraft crew members can spot various surface objects. At an altitude of 5,000 feet, with excellent visibility, an aircraft crew member should be able to pick up a submarine at 23 nautical miles. This image shows the location of the air-sea radar mounted on a B-24 patrol bomber. Depending on the type of radar and atmospheric characteristics, a surface submarine can be spotted by the aircraft radar from 8 to 22 nautical miles, as shown in this image representing the radar visibility ranges based on radar altitude and object of search. On the other hand, this chart represents the likelihood of an aircraft being spotted by a submarine lookout from the January 1943 Anti-Submarine Command Monthly Summary Report. The x-axis is the aircraft range in yards. The y-axis is a percent chance of an aircraft being spotted by a submarine lookout. The curves in the body of the chart are for aircraft painted in camouflage or not. For uncamouflaged aircraft, there's a 50-50 chance of being spotted by a submarine lookout at a distance of 13,100 yards or 6.5 nautical miles. The submarine lookout spotting distance drops to 5.8 nautical miles for patrolling aircraft painted in the camouflage color scheme. Once a submarine is spotted, the patrolling aircraft will make its attack run. The state of the submarine's trim at the time of aircraft attack is shown in this image from a 1946 Chief of the Naval Operations Anti-Submarine Warfare in World War II document. The first column is a degree of the submarine submergence. The fifth column is a number of submarines attacked from January 1943 through July 1943 and its state of trim during the attack. Of the 150 aircraft attacks on German submarines, 55% of the U-boats were attacked while on the surface or partially on the surface, 22% of the U-boats were attacked while below the surface, and 22% were classified as other. In summary, the aircraft will see the submarine well before the submarine lookout see the aircraft. Due to the aircraft's approach speed, there's a 55% chance the aircraft will attack the submarine while the U-boat is on the surface or partially on the surface. We'll discuss the weapons and tactics of aircraft submarine attacks in future channel releases. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider liking, commenting, or subscribing to the channel, World War II U.S. Bombers.